I understand your frustration, Mr. Knapp. Find thing we should discuss. Mr. Knapp here has come to us with another missing persons case. My niece, Cassie. Cassie Holloway. She paid some caravan and folk to help her travel here from out west. Sent me some letters just before she set out. Them letters arrived just fine, but she didn't. I went and spoke with them caravanners, and they tell me that my Cassie never set out with them at all. Those, uh, Blue Mountain, what's it, uh, the Blue Ridge Caravan Company. Really? This letter said they would acquire more people from Blue Ridge? Interesting. This is the first real lead we've found, and it connects directly with what Mr. Knapp is reporting. <laughs> I actually had my own suspicions about the organization, but this information certainly tips the scales. We need to investigate this Blue Ridge Caravan Company immediately. Well, they have an office at the west end of the Big Bend Tunnel. Initiate! I'd like you to meet me there. But try not to attract too much attention either. If they realize we're in the Brotherhood, they may clam up. Thank you, Initiate. At Victorium. Fix that. It never seemed to end. Looks like it might rain later. Whoa! Ah, there you are, Anishi. I mean, friend. Sorry for the informality, but we should keep a low profile. Don't want to spook anyone that might be listening in. Huh. Don't get too used to that. But listen, I was hoping we could talk for a few minutes before we head upstairs. Let me buy you a drink. What do you say? Great. Take a seat. Oh boy, a customer! What can I get for you? One of America's finest, coming right up. Okay, here you go. Enjoy. Huh, a fine choice. Salomati, my friend. Aw, oh, I'd rather not ruin this. I just need a brief moment where I'm not a paladin to a headstrong, self-righteous, mutinous knight. well. Thank you for humoring me, even if it was just for a moment. Let's head upstairs. And remember to keep a low profile. We're just a pair of friendly traders looking for potential business. Look out, here comes trouble. Mayfield. My name is Layla. I made an appointment to speak with you. Please, Joanna is just fine, dear. And while all this cloak and dagger hubbub is flattering, why don't we cut to the chase, Paladin Romani? Well, I'm afraid short, my calendar is all Okay, Joanna. It appears here. I underestimated you. And looky there. You've got one of these famous vault dwellers in tow. Oh, and I know this one. Made a splash around here. Say, when are you planning to provide some of that skill to my caravans? I'd appreciate if the job offers were saved for later. We're here on pressing business. Okay, Paladin. Down to brass tacks, then. It's not an accident that I finally opted to meet with you. After playing hard to get for so long. We know you're interested in the folks that have gone missing. We are too. 
Been looking into it for a spell now. All right. That's fine by me. Right now, the most important thing is finding everyone that has gone missing and returning them home. Being upfront with your involvement in this now will be looked upon favorably, because we're not stopping until this is solved and they are safe. Slow down, Paladin. This is not an admission of guilt or an attempt to weasel out of responsibility. We are just as concerned about these folk as you. We're willing to cooperate in hopes of saving lives, nothing else. And if you're hoping I'm about to spill the beans on some secret abduction scheme, you're out of luck. We have the same goals as you in this. Honeyed words, but we should proceed. What can you tell us about the people that went missing from your caravan? Better to just let you take a look for yourselves. Ares! Come on in here! This guy looks like some kind of guard. Probably armed. Don't take your eye off him, Initiate. Thanks. It's good to follow your instincts. They rarely steer me wrong. You ring, boss? Harper's Ferry, the train tunnel. Fun showing our guests the route. Oh, crap. You really want to go back there? That was exactly my thinking, Ares. Head on over to that tunnel and show this duo of detectives the scene of the crime. Does that sound amenable to y'all? Okie dokie, I'll meet you there. It's the big fancy train tunnel, just east of Harper's Ferry. Now, time is money, and I've burned a bottle and plant worth of caps chatting with you two. So if you don't mind, please direct any further inquiries to my masked associate. Fine. But after reviewing the evidence, I plan to revisit Blue Ridge's involvement in this matter. By all means. If you find something that gets us answers, we can talk till the Brahmin come home. Initiate, glad you made it here safely. That Ares character is further ahead. I should mention, every instinct I have is telling me not to trust him. It seems we don't have much choice for the time being, but we'd be wise to keep an eye on him. All right, you take point. Guns of the ready. I spotted some feral ghouls earlier. For real? And Viola is just a little further ahead. Please, after you. Fine. I don't think we aren't keeping an eye on you. I can't blame you. I know I'm a real looker. It's very bad. Speak, Ares. What's a holdup? 
You're not gonna like this. Follow me. Yep, just like I thought. Let's chat. Welcome to the Ninth Circle of Hell. First, the good news. It's bring your own paramilitary night, so the Paladin drinks for free. The bad news is that I can't unseal that door. Here's the quick version. Clever little me locks that door by setting off a bogus gas leak alarm. But it looks like in order to lift the lockdown, you need to verify there's actually no gas leak. The door is real picky like that. Oh, I'd love to, but there's a little problem. If you'll cast your steely gaze to the left, you'll see a massive impenetrable wall of strangler vines. To verify there's no gas leak, we need to get to the pump room. One guess where the pump room is located. Winner, winner, red steak dinner. There were some engineers living down here well after the bombs fell. Looks like they lasted a few years even. Which means they had a way of fighting back the vines. Maybe start by looking for how they did that. Mm-hmm. I'll just skulk here in the corner in case another way of opening this door comes to mind. Let me know if you have any luck. Try not to die a terrible death. This sounds like a very contrived way of getting us killed. Something to deal with the vines? I think I see some kind of chemical on the ground there. We need to find a way to unlock this door. Looks like we'll need more than just a password to get through. Some kind of code for turning words into numbers, it seems. More than everything, bagel person. Just need a way to change that phrase into a series of numbers. Done, Initiate. That was some impressive detective work. Let's have a look at this. Aha! My hunch was right. According to the label, they made an extremely potent herbicide. Judging from this container, it looks like it's meant to be dispersed into a larger system. No sprinklers in here, so... Dear Lord. The facility's water line? I would explain the bodies out there, but... They must have known this would happen. Time to dwell on that. Initiate, let's look for a station where we can access the water line. This is what we need to weaken the vines.
Here we go. This looks like it connects to the main water line. Let's talk next steps. I should be able to disperse the herbicide into the water line from here. I'm suspecting that the security system here won't appreciate that. Expect alarms. And the company that alarms tend to attract. Ready for a fight? Okay. Fingers crossed and guns at the ready. Let's take a look here. Okay. The chemical has started dispersing into the water systems. It's detected a foreign substance. Care for it to get noisy in here. She it, I'll need you to keep them off my back. And Victoria. Chemical is pumping throughout the entire water system now. Including a cesspipe that was for disposing of unwanted chemicals. Well, one sleazy company's environmental negligence is our gain, I suppose. Those vines should be weak enough to break through now. I, uh, wouldn't drink the water if I were you, though. Hostile robotic entity? That's troubling. Be on the lookout. Mind, have I? That was an assault on dressed up as a sheep? Whatever it was, it's dead. We should be able to lift the lockdown. Let's get back to that terminal. And that's that. Time to head back to Ares, if he has anything to do with all this.
freaking boss looks like she's about to strangle me with one of those vines. Something happened in there? Aries? Between the feral ghouls, the strangler vines, and that insane chic robot, I've about reached my limit with this place. And your antics. I don't know if this is some kind of trap or elaborate cover-up, but we need to get through that door and get answers. Now! Whoa, whoa, trap? Where's this coming from? Hold on, did you say sheep robot? Uh, like the Baba kind or the killer robot kind? Ares, the door! Now! Please! Okay, just give me a second. Yeesh. Nearly there now. We're getting closer to the truth. I can feel it. Agreed. Alright, let's see here. Login credentials, check. In terms of employment, yeah, yeah. Benefits enrollments expired, sure, sure. And done. Trust me now, I'll even lead the way, so if you change your mind, it'll be easier to shoot me in the back. Seems like you've been pretty thorough. Are you ready to discuss what you've found? Excellent. I'll take what you've collected. Let me take a look at what you've found. I just need a minute to review it all. Well, it seems like Cassie was indeed a part of this caravan group, but... I think it'd be a good idea to step through the evidence together. I may have been assuming too much about Blue Ridge's involvement. I'd like to be on the same page, so where would you like to start? Yes. It would seem this was a routine trip, until the end. Something kept them here, and forced them to set up camp so close to home. Not quite. While that seems like a believable conclusion, the evidence points elsewhere. They were bunked down here due to a rad storm. A large group of civilians and merchants accompanied by just a single guard? Sitting ducks. Indeed. It looks like we have a clear account of their last moments here. While a dangerous group certainly arrived at the camp, there's nothing to suggest mutants. It would appear that unexpected strangers arrived heavily armed. Based on Cassie's description and the letter you found earlier, we can assume they were these Hellcat mercenaries. The total number of people they've abducted, though, is staggering. Nearly 15 in this trip alone. Right. A manifest. One name in particular really stood out to me. Did you notice it? Art's niece was here on the final trip, sure, but that's to be expected. No, the thing I noticed was a familiar recurring name. That's right, Dr. Blackburn. Not only was he present on multiple trips, but Cassie makes mention of him speaking with the armed strangers, likely these Hellcat mercenaries you've dealt with. I imagine Dr. Blackburn was the one employing them. I knew the name sounded familiar. I had read it in Shin's report of your very first assignment with us. Think back, Initiate. 
Do you recall why Dr. Blackburn had been seeking our assistance? That was Tally Lang, a young woman that was very clearly a raider. Dr. Blackburn was the one who had been performing experiments to help the people of the Wasteland. I had thought it sounded too good to be true. But even still, could he be kidnapping people? To what end? Indeed we do. Dr. Blackburn was hiring these Hellcat mercenaries to kidnap people from this route. It would appear they were cautious at first, but took advantage of a radstorm to steal away an entire group. An unfortunate end, but there's still hope of finding them. The only thing left is to report back our findings and determine Blackburn's location. I'm glad I had you here, Initiate. There's a few things I'm sure I would have missed if you hadn't been here to help. I do believe we make a pretty great team. I know you do, Initiate. I appreciate it. I really do. I'm a bit ashamed of how quick I was to jump to conclusions on this matter. It's something I know I need to change. But even still, I'm thankful that you continue to place your trust in me. Anyway, we should get back to Atlas and report what we found. If we can determine where Blackburn took this group, we may be able to track down Cassie, and perhaps countless others. I'll meet you there. Good work, Initiate. Ares, I owe you an apology. Ah, water under the bridge. All of my best friendships start with...